Well, that's up, everybody. This is Lee Double Z TV. Luna gives a man, Double Z is a man, whatever. Finally, a day that I never thought I'd see happen again in WWE. Sheamus has finally lost a one on one match. This is the first time he's been in, pinned in a one on one match all year. I mean, you look for this, he's only lost three other matches this year. He lost a tables match early this year against Wade Barrett, but due to distraction. He lost a tag team match on SmackDown, getting pinned by Daniel Bryan thanks to distraction. He lost a tag team match on SmackDown before No Way Out, again, like, Mo well, getting pinned by Dolph Ziggler, but then thanks again to distraction. And yes, like, uh, CM Punk cheated in order to win because he used an exposed metal turnbuckle and, of course, he used a trunk of CM Punk during the main event, or chunks of Sheamus during the main event show this week, but still, it, finally, Sheamus has proven not to be 100% immortal or dominant. I mean, thank God, I, for God knows how long he was constantly getting shoved down our throats. If somebody made an open challenge or a GM was making a hand-picked opponent for a wrestler like a mystery opponent or whatever, it was constantly Sheamus being chosen. And he would, then we all know he would win because he's freaking gym buddies with Triple H. Now, he's finally lost the match and it finally shows that he's not immortal or unbeatable after all. I mean, thank God. I mean, don't get me wrong, Sheamus is not a bad wrestler. He's pretty good. I'm just sick to death of him winning all the time. Okay? I mean, seriously, it's freaking ridiculous. I mean, All I know is I am just glad he lost. Even though I read the spoilers and knew that he was going to lose, my jaw still dropped when it finally happened on TV. Thank God. So, still, that, God knows what that's going to show leading up to Hell in a Cell. Maybe his World Heavyweight title reign will finally end someday. Maybe we'll finally see him lose at least once in a while. I mean, seriously. People keep coming up with this stupid phrase, Super Cena, saying he's unbeatable, he knows sells, he can't be beaten, he's super strong, da 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 No, that phrase describes Shane as more, okay? Cena has lost, like, at least six or seven matches this year. Sheamus, well, this, like, he's lost four matches this year, but this was the first time he's been pinned in a one-on-one -on -one match in a long freaking time. So thank you WWE for doing something different for once instead of making Sheamus always win and win and win and keep making his match endings predictable. Even before then, the only time he would lose is thanks to distraction or disqualification or count out. Thank God change finally happened.